let's see here. No screws. No screws. No screws. What? How am I to, how am I supposed to get this open? There's no screws here. How am I supposed to make this video and there's no screws? I have to show them how to take this apart. this no try this way First thing I'm going to do here is remove this piece of plastic. Now you can do this, they do sell tools for this, but because we're just going to scrap it and we're not going to repair it, I'm just going to use this screwdriver. And again we're going to do it on this side. There should be a little slot there to pull it out. Now you see these little holes here, there's about seven or eight I guess. You're gonna need to put something small inside to pry it open. Now it's kind of difficult, but you can see where my fingers are and that's where you're gonna try to keep it like uh, from closing. And you'll see there's some little tabs inside. Now this is a few attempts I've taken to try to open this and I, I got nowhere with it but it is a little difficult and like I said you do need a tool a special tool to open this if you're going to repair it but there you go the, that side is done now let's try to do it again over here now this is my first time opening this one I didn't want to open it and put it back again because I fear I would break it. So you see that I'm not a professional, but finally I got that one open. Now we're removing the front cover and we have to remove a small tab. Those are them right there. And that will remove the, I think it's the top cover. Also, you have this little Microsoft strip. If you are repairing it and you want to take it back to the manufacturer, they will see that, that you had opened it. So now I have all these screws here, and now we're just going to use a torque wrench or torque screwdriver to remove them. Now when I'm removing these, I didn't see some screws on the right side of your screen, but I'll remove those later. So now I'm going to remove this little. I guess that's the on button. I apologize for this. It's been a while since I made a video and I got a new camera. No, 
okay now you see the the bottom cover is not coming off that's because of those screws I didn't remove so I'm gonna end up snapping it and that's a piece of steel you want to put that in your steel pile so now this is the inside of the Xbox Now I'm going to remove the CD drive. And this piece of plastic here, I think this is kind of like that uh, vacuum. This is the part that blows all the air into the heat sinks to cool them down. And I'm also now going to try to remove the board which does not want to come off and there are no screws holding it the problem is the, the fan I have to remove the fan in order to get that board off so I'm attempting it again and I see I'm still having a problem now I noticed on the side there is another board that board right there that's what's holding this board up from being taken apart or from being removed all right so now I got the board removed finally and there's a piece of steel and now to remove those heat sinks now they do sell a special tool that has like a hook on it that will prevent you from damaging the board if you want to repair it but as you see here I'm a scrapper so I'm just gonna take it apart you know any which way I can and there goes the one heat sink Yes, those scrappers are very barbaric. And this one is a copper aluminum heat sink. You want to sell that separately with your copper and aluminum heat sinks. Now just removing that, those wires. And you have here a peripheral board. 